Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new video. I'm Hamo Kao and today we will be going over the top 10 best PPSSPP game for Android. Now we will only be including one game per franchise and to qualify for this list each game has to run smoothly along with providing an enjoyable single player experience. Now when I say smoothly I mean that the games cannot be glitchy, the games cannot lag and the games cannot be slow. Uh, this list is set in no particular order and all of the games on this list are based off of my personal taste and preferences. I recommend using a controller while playing any of these games or playing any games on any emulator because that will definitely give you a better experience. Now if you've played all of the games on this list, wait till the end, I will be mentioning some other games that I thought were pretty good. With all that said, let's get into the video. So at number 10 we have Dragon Ball Z Shin Kai Another Road. Now I am aware that Tenkaichi Tag Team is probably the better game, but Another Road will practically run on anything and it will look good while doing it. The gameplay is amazing, there's also a single player mode which follows the events of the Buu Saga and as a Dragon Ball Z fan, I recommend everyone play this game, cause it's amazing and it's fun. Moving on to the next title, at number 9 we have X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now what can I say about this game? From a very shitty movie comes a shockingly great game. Praised almost universally for its visuals and gameplay, the game is easily one of the best superhero games ever. It's available on the PSP so you can just go ahead and play it using the PPSSPP emulator on your phone. So yeah, give this game a shot if you haven't played it already. At number 8, we have Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Now, I know that there are a lot of Monster Hunter great games for the PSP, and you can practically try out any of them. This one basically is, well, just for the video. So, yeah. Uh, fair warning though, the game includes a lot of grinding, and most of the game is actually preparing for the boss fights, and the preparing for your next big bad monster to beat. Uh, this game did have multiplayer when it was on the PSP, I'm not actually sure how you can use multiplayer now, but yeah, I'll give this game a shot, I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Now at number 7 we have Mortal Kombat Unchained, easily one of the best fighting games for the PSP, which surprisingly has a pretty good single player mode. Paired with insane gameplay and intense visual, Mortal Kombat Unchained is completely something else. So if you're a big fan of fighting games and gore and violence, then this game is definitely for you. So standing at number 6 on our list is Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Now what can I say about this one? Stunning visuals? Check. Good gameplay? Check. Good story? Check. What more are you asking for dude? It's funny, it's entertaining, while also being slightly challenging. If you haven't played it yet, give this game a shot. I am 80-90% sure that you'll love it. The X button I think that's those are pretty good odds. So yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. So at number five, we have another platformer puzzle beat 'em up style game. It's called Dexter. Now, Dexter is actually a part of a series called Jack and Dexter, and this game follows the adventures of just Dexter. The game is funny, the game is well, pretty good actually, and it's one of my personal favorite games of all time. Uh, it's a perfect blend of puzzles, platforming, and beat-em-up 
and I highly recommend that everyone play this game. And if they, if you like this one, you'll probably like Jack and Dexter too. So give that one a shot. And at number four, we have Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. Now, this is an Assassin's Creed game on your phone. And it's an Assassin's Creed game when Assassin's Creed games were about assassins and not pirates and gladiators and stuff. With Assassin's Creed Valhalla coming up, you might want to check this one out. So yeah, go ahead and play it if you haven't already. I said that like two times already, right? So at number 3, we have God of War, Ghost of Spark. Now what PSP game list is complete without God of War? It's an amazing game, it has great visuals, it has stellar gameplay. Well, I'm kind of tired and it feels like I'm repeating stuff over and over again, but all of these games are pretty great. You should try, and try all of them out, if you haven't already, which is also something I've already said, so yeah. Speaking of great games, here's another one, GTA Liberty City. Now, uh, GTA Vice City and San Andreas is available on the Play Store and you can get them for free uh, if you have the track, if you know how to use the track version. But Liberty City is, I guess, it's not on the Play Store, so if you want to play the game, you can use the PBS's PP emulator to play it. Basically, every GTA what game is... Uh, every GTA game on the PSP, you can play using the emulator and it will run great. So if you want to give it a shot, go ahead. It's a great game. So finally at number one, we have Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. There are a lot of things to say about this game, but the first thing that comes to mind is Hideo Kojima. Yes, developed by Kojima Productions, this stealth action adventure game is one of the best PSP games to date. With amazing visuals that make it impossible to believe that it's a PSP game and gameplay beyond comparison, Metal Gear Solid is basically the best game you will be able to play on the PPS emulator. Now, fair warning, the game runs at 20 FPS, which doesn't mean that the game is slow, but that just means that the game is supposed to run at 20 FPS. Uh, Peace Walker is definitely one of the best games of its time. So, that was my top 10 PPS's PP game list. I hope you liked it, and as promised, some honorable mentions.